Greetings everybody, it is I, Umber Rays, here to bring you a JP News video, which I know all of you are always thirsting for. So I'm happy to make the content. Somebody said recently in another video that, hey, why, what's with the stuttering? Well, I do this without any edits, because that's just the way I've always done my videos, ever since back when I made long, comprehensive uh, strategy videos for, like, SD Gundam games, so I kind of do that, but yeah, recently I've been a little more distracted, uh, temperature and whatnot has been breaking my concentration, so uh, if that is a problem for you, too bad. I do my videos the way I do my videos, that is it. By the way, I can do video editing, I don't want All right, next up, let's talk about, well, what we're supposed to be talking about. So this week is the Trial of Reckoning. I believe they are called on Global. Or people get confused by the term box event. Uh, because it is essentially a box event. You go in with bonus teams. You fight enemies. You fight bosses. You get tickets. You pull from boxes to get wonderful rewards. The likes of which we see very often. Uh, but definitely things that people do want. And it's something to fill the time, and ever since it's kind of gone background farming, it's much more bearable. All right, uh, so we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, Fire Veritas Metals. Uh, this is something I want to touch on very quickly. Recently, there has been an update for JP where Fire Veritas Metals are obtained by just doing daily missions. You don't have to worry about disconnect anymore. Fantastic. I'm very happy that they have changed it, and it is working very nicely, at least from my experience so far. So shoutouts to that being a positive thing. Next up is this VC, which is our apparently only new thing this week. I guess that means that we're going to see something major in the second half of this month, because I very much doubt that we are going to go from the 17th all the way to the end of the month and not get a new character or something but i'm curious as to like the time frame being so messed up right now like you look at it and normally the mid-month is a character but if the mid-month and more importantly the 17th is not a character then the 24th the following week has to be something but then the following week after that is july 1st which will be another new character so i'm just kind of curious about the way they're going to work that out. Whether it's just a big vision card or we're going to have two weeks of back-to-back -back characters. The summer characters are also going to be starting soon. Makes me feel like they're trying to jam one more story character in. Maybe before summer character. Interesting. Alright. So, uh, I, I, you know, kind of circling back around. Uh, this VC is called Balam Garden Canteen Evaluate. So, Canteen or Cantina obviously cafeteria and i just want to shout out the fact that i think this is one of the worst vc artworks i've ever seen in the game of votive now let me explain normally i'm very happy to see collaboration artwork that is in Wotive style because what style of artwork is actually pretty damn good and it's really neat to see characters like from older games like this get uh, detailed in new art style it's one of the things i really like a lot of the time but where are the hot dogs is the big question if you played ff8 you know that that cantina is famous for its hot dogs and i may be being a little bit of a wuss about this but you know what i'm not chicken to say that i think the lack of hot dogs in this artwork is bullshit and something has gone terribly wrong on the dev team uh so hopefully whoever gets flogged for this uh, egregious error and who knows maybe we'll see the very first uh, ever retconned artwork symbol in the bottom for a wiener anyway uh speaking of wieners let's not wiener out and talk about the jobs that will be benefiting from this piece party ability wise we're looking at two sword groups warrior and knight that means red mage is the odd one out here and red mage being more you know, akin to magic-based damage dealers a lot of the time. And Gilgamesh's group, I feel like this is not 
the worst thing in the world. It's kind of nice to see the other two sword groups get a little more focus and maybe even a little bit more pairing. Uh, and the last group here is this, which will be getting included on this PC. Party ability wise, this PC, uh, Visions Mastery, is quests only. It is AP consumption down. So people are looking for PvP uh, focus. All of these is this is maybe not the one for you. I mean, AP consumption down is kind of nice if you're trying to do a bunch of older quest content, maybe. Also, you're getting uh, accuracy up and luck up for mastering this vision card for quests permanently. Nice if you want to do evasion and deal with some evade characters, potentially. As for the regular VC equipment for these jobs, we are looking at area attack resistance, as well as slashing attack resistance, so quite defensive air, but very relevant to most of the major damage dealers that are out right now. Pretty good. As for maxing out the VC, you will be getting human killer up on physical attacks, which is very nice for these two sword groups. And for the unit equipped with this, they will be getting attack up as well as quickness or speed up which are both two things that are incredibly valuable. The VC looks good, even not being super focused on, uh, you know, just duels or arena or whatever you want to call. I still think that this VC is plenty good to be recommended for a competitive comp. Human killer is always good. More sources of it strong, and I think it's just good here. As for speaking about the VC groups that will benefit, now, we're going to be talking about, like, the obvious thing, which is Earth. Earth has a huge stake in this VC, with King Bradley using this VC, as well as Ash and Haunt. Uh, Tifa, Lucio of the Shining, whatever, Wingstern, Alphonse, Preen, uh, Magic Swordsman, Pizarro, if he ever comes back again, maybe we'll finally get his upgrade. Uh... And then we just have a few other characters that I think are really worth talking about, like Ketone, Qual, uh, Bridal Alaya, who has seen more of a resurgence recently. Arts, who secondary attack, always love an extra human killer. Uh, Earth Faradis, who will eventually probably be somewhat relevant, but, you know, given that JP just never gets medals for him anymore because there's always a limited time thing or the arena or guild is broken again uh wolf hard to say that i'm gonna really like that too much but of course cypher is the big one and cypher has been doing really really well lately taking a look at this him and ash and mont could be a dynamite together especially with good vcs like this backing it potentially more into the future and 2p also could be thrown on that team or tifa and if you want to go multi-element or whatnot, there's a bunch of different stuff you can do here. I think is quite juicy, and I like the way this VC looks. Uh, sorry, in terms of abilities, not artwork. I have to make sure that is absolutely crystal clear. Uh, new arena map focused on sword group. A specific sword group, obviously Cypher's group, as well as Darkness. We'll be getting the benefit for the latter bit of... Just the next little bit. As for a six star piece of equipment, normally I don't really talk about this because it's just whatever until we see the bonuses off of it. But Ragnarok model is getting a six star. Cool. All right. And as for this, uh, we will be seeing Adea's letter invitation. I, I, I played FF8, but it's been a little while and I can't place my finger exactly what this is. Of course, the Ragnarok model will be obtainable again through this event. But the new piece of equipment I'm super curious about, I think, scrolling through it, yeah, older characters will be getting a bonus or bonuses through them. I'm actually going to translate them really, really quickly here. All right, so basically for this piece of equipment, each character will be getting critical evasion up. Squall will be getting a reduction of physical damage taken. As well as an increase to uh, area attacks. 
So very, very defensive piece of equipment for Qual. For Noah, we'll be getting magical power up and resistance to all attack types, which just sounds like a giant win to me. Irving, increased resistance to area attacks and increased critical damage. And Cypher, the newest character, increased physical human killer, uh, as well as increased single target attack resistance. Looking pretty good for him. Uh, if I remember correctly, I didn't see anything in here about Ragnarok getting improved for Cypher. If that turns out to be different, I will, of course, make mention it in a later video. And uh, speaking of later, that's essentially it for today's news day. Let us know what you think of all this new stuff. Are you kind of excited, a little bit excited, not excited, or just patiently waiting? Either way, Cypher is turning out to be, shaping up to be a generally really good, uh, solid character with all the support he is getting between the VC and equipment. I think he'll be just generally fine, as well as the fact that his performance already is looking pretty good in a competitive setting. But we'll talk about more about that on the weekend in our team. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you later. Oh yes, uh, final note. I'll just make a final note at the end of this video. I was supposed to do a live stream uh, because of general heat issues and fatigue, as well as some stuff going on here in my personal life. A little bit uh, detracted streaming recently. So please forgive me. Uh, if you are excited for the streams, I'm not trying to be disingenuous when they want to stream or whatnot, but uh, it's just been a little bit rough lately. Later.